Hey up everybody, I'm going to deal with the whistle valve today. So in the Sweet Pea book you'll find that there's no drawings or any information for the whistle valve. In fact in the Sweet Pea book, Jack Butler's book, there's quite a lot of fittings and ancillary components that's not in. I think it assumes that you're buying those in. But the word buying's not in my vocabulary as you, as you probably all know by now. So I'm going to go ahead and make them and I found two drawings from the model engineer 1949 there's that one 1982 there's that one they're very much similar just slight variation on dimensions here and there and in a previous video I did a video of the safety valve and all the whistle valve is really is a safety valve in reverse that's the most simplest way of explaining it. So the steam on the safety valve, the steam's coming up, pushing the ball off and releasing the pressure. Well, on the whistle valve, you're you're moving the ball off the seat, and the pressure's keeping it on the seat. All it's got different is a union soldered on where the steam branches off to the whistle. So I'll go over to Myford then once I've got my material cut out, this bronze that I'm still hacking away at. I'll, got, I'll do a bit of cardiovascular work on my pieces of bronze. Over to Myford and I'll make those parts. There, then I've got a silver solder, a union on. I make this lever. I've just had an hour on Myford making these parts for this whistle valve. And I just thought I'd explain to you what I've made here. So I've got the main body. Then I've got the threaded part that's going to be silver soldered onto the side like that. I've got the valve cleaned up now, I've silver soldered it in and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and make a stainless steel spring it's got to be uh, 1 8 diameter by approximately 10 millimeter long then the ball will drop in, the spring on the top with this hollow blanking plug screwed onto the spring so I'm going to have to make a spring. Uh, I've been searching for some suitable stainless steel wire and uh, I don't know my wife found this in, in, one of a, in a kit she bought for bracelets or something but it is stainless. I've got my magnet here and it's, it's not magnetic and it is a spring. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to eat it up and soften it and then reheat treat it. I'm just going to try and weight means such a small diameter, 24 gauge. I'm just going to try and bend it. And what I've come up with, I've got a wood screw here with a coarse thre uh, thread on it, and I'm going to attempt to wind it round this wood screw and see if it'll hold, it, hold its shape at one eighth diameter.
just got to grind ends flat on grinder. Ten millimeter long, one eighth diameter. I've ground the ends flat now. And uh, what's going to happen then? I've got to put the ball in first. Then the spring. Then I'm going to put this hollow plug in. And once that's in, I'm going to show that off. Uh, I'll either Loctite it in, but I'm not sure about Loctite with heat. I might just peen the edge of the hole just to hold it in. And then this pin with this O-ring on, that's going to be on, go, press onto the ball and be cut off once I've got this size, once I've got the length sorted out. And that's going to just push the ball off. That's the whistle valve completed. Now I'm going to make the whistles next, and then I can do the pipe work from the valve to the whistles. So. I'm going to sign off for now then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on my next video, bye for now.